Hello guys, so I'm about to start my live. I'm just waiting to see if anyone else can join. Hello, happy Tuesday. All right, so um, today's live I'm really excited for. As you can see, I have like one side of my face done and the other side is not quite done yet. Um, so today I'm gonna be creating a trendy spring look um, that also can be worn for um, Valentine's Day, which is coming up next week. Um, and I have some new brands that I have been trying out for about like the past two weeks. I'm really excited to share with you guys. Um, so I'm going to start off with what I used on the skin. Um, so I'm going to put that up on the screen for you guys to see. All right. So I started off with this new brand um, that I tried out. It's from Cleve Cosmetics. It's their CCC cream. I actually mixed this with a little bit of foundation. It gave me this really nice radiant glow. Um, but what I also love is that it also has SPF 50 in it. So I'm actually in Florida for this week and I need I needed SPF. I actually forgot to bring some SPF. So I'm really happy that this um, CCC cream has it in there. And I got it in the color warm medium brown. Um, and I'm going to just show you guys how it goes on the skin because when I first put this on, I was actually scared because of the color. It looks a little yellow, but what I love about this is that when you blend it in, it just blends right into the skin. So as you can see, as you warm it up and you blend it onto the skin, you can actually see that it is the perfect match for my skin and I have it on right now. Um, it's really smooth, really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy on the skin, but it does give me a nice glow, which I always go for because I have super dry skin. Um, so that again was from uh, Klee Cosmetics and it's actually on sale. Um, it was originally 38, it's on sale for 32.30. Um, and if you guys didn't know, if you purchase anything during this live video, you'll also get an extra 15% off. So I would definitely take advantage of that discount. You get the sale price and you get the extra 15% off. Um, hi, hi everyone that's joining. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so that was the CCC cream. Again, I got it in the warm, medium, deep. And I'm definitely, as you can see by the bottle, I've been carrying it everywhere with me and using it for almost everything. Um, so I'm now going to move on to, um, this really cool red blushy look that I have going on on my cheek area and on the eye. Um, so I actually used this brush. Um, it is from Euphoria. It is their blush brush. I love how fluffy it is. It's super gentle on the skin and it's really easy to glide on any, um, blush. So I'm going to go ahead. I actually just used a red eyeshadow that I had um, to create this blushy red look that I have going on. I'm going to show you guys how I apply it on. I always start out with um, less is more. I always start out with a little bit on the brush, not too much on it, because if you start off with too much, then it's kind of you're going to have to take it off and do it over. I'd rather start with a little bit and build it on. Um, so we're going to start in this area. So I start in my cheek eye area. So right in here and I kind of just pat that in. All right. So I'm just patting it in here. This is actually one of my like favorite looks to do. I've done this a few times. Um, it's really trendy right now too. I'm seeing everyone do a lot of these like uh, exaggerated blush looks. So most of the time when I do see people wear blush, they'll put the blush right here in this area, but I've kind of been liking more so like a blown out blush look. It looks a little bit more like editorial. So I'm just putting that here and I'm gliding it up towards the temple. It's on the cheekbones. 
There we go. All right. And then I am going to actually take a shadow brush and I'm going to actually drag that in to my eyelid. So I'm going to go right in here and I'm going to buff it out. I actually want to use, this is what I should be using so I can, there we go. So I'm going to actually just buff it out into what I already have on my cheek area. And I'm going to just put this red right in the crease of my eye. And then I'll move it down. I'm gonna move it down into my waterline, my under eye, whatever you wanna call this area. The thing that I love about shadow that I've also had to learn over time is that a makeup is art. So you place it where you want to place it at. Of course, there's specific techniques for different things, but I feel like with shadow, you can freely just play around and place it where you want it, blend it out how you want it. I try to look at makeup more so like art and not perfection because if you do it that way, I feel like it'll drive you absolutely insane. So. Here we go. I'm just putting, finishing this off in the crease of my eye, blending it out. I'm really excited for the next step. I can't wait to show you guys this glitter that I'm gonna use that I have on the side here. So I think that's enough of the red. I'm not gonna put too much red in that area. I probably will blend out some more red here on my cheek area because I have definitely have more on this side. But I just wanted to show you guys how I even get that on there. Okay. So now this is this is the fun part for me. I'm going to put the product up here on the screen. So as you guys can see the brand up here. How do you decide? How do you decide to just... I get nervous. Um, honestly... Um, when it comes to makeup, I just kind of wing it sometimes or I look for inspiration um, on like Pinterest, Instagram. I'm constantly saving photos of things that I want to recreate and then I just add my own spin on it. Um, but I do get nervous with some looks, especially looks that I've never tried out before. But that's where I try to just calm myself down and tell myself it does not have to be perfect. It's just something fun for me to create and use my face as like a canvas. Um, so now... I put this product up here. This is Light Show Color Melt, um, and it's also plant-powered. It has, you guys can see I put it on my hand here. It has this really nice sheen to it, but it is super glittery. So if I, you see that? It's like a metallic-y glitter. So if I didn't want to use as much, I would actually just put less product, as you can see a lot comes out, a lot goes a long way. So this is actually what I used on my eyelid and it's on sale as well. It was $22. It's also um, on sale for $18.70. And I'm gonna show you guys how I actually put that on my eye. Thank you. Thank you so much. So here we go. So it picks up a lot of metallic glitter on the eye. I use my finger to get the most product onto my eyelid and then I actually go on to use a brush to just kind of shape it and just guide it to where I want it on my eye because with your finger it kind of just goes everywhere. So I'm just using my finger to apply it on my eyelid. This is definitely this this glittery liquid I'm putting on the eye is definitely giving me like euphoria vibes. Like I feel like everyone is into this like metallic, super artsy and fun um, eye looks. And I feel like this is the perfect product to create that. You can manipulate it and use it in different ways. It doesn't have to be just in one area. You can kind of spread it out since it is super glittery. 
So you guys see that's there in my eye. And then I'm just gonna grab a brush and I'm gonna shape it how I shaped this one over here. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. And I'm pressing it in. As you blend it, you will notice um, the glitter will move around. So I'm just kind of patting some more into my eyelid and I'm just rounding it. <laughs> Can you share the brush you use? Of course. Um, so the brush that I did use, let me see if I can actually add it in here. So I just wanted to see if I can add it in, but I don't think that I can. Sorry guys, I was trying to actually pull up the brush on the Verishop app, but I'm gonna show you guys again. This is the blush brush from Euphoria. And like I mentioned in the beginning, it is super fluffy, super gentle on the skin. They actually sent me this um, brush and I've been using it a whole lot on my cheekbone area. Um, so that was the brush that I used to apply that red on. Um, let me finish putting the shadow on. Oh, the pink brush. Sorry. So the shadow brush that I'm using is actually from Morphe. Um, it's not on the Verishop app, but there are a ton of amazing brands that do have makeup brushes on the app that I did use previously. Um, one of the brands, I think, I believe one of the brands is MTU. Um, I really like their makeup brushes and they're super affordable. So if you guys are looking for new makeup brushes, I would definitely check out um, some brushes on the Verishop app and just look for specifically what you want. Whether you want a shadow brush, a blush brush, a blending brush, you can find a whole bunch of different brushes for all your um, eyeshadow needs. So I'm just going to finish this off up here. just angling it just a little bit here in the corner okay you can also put this on the eye alone you don't have to use this red underneath you can just use like a natural color under um the glitter and the glitter just kind of does its own thing it creates like this super like metallic -y, really pretty um sheen on the eyes all right so i am now going to move on to my wing um so i'm using a liquid i'm going to use a liquid eyeliner and I'm just gonna create the same wing look that I have on this side. And the trick to creating the wing look for me, I start in the corner of my eye. So I would start here and I would drag it in. This is the easiest way for me. I used to pull my eyelid upwards and then draw the line. And then when I would let my eyelid go, the liner would just kind of be everywhere. So the easiest way that I've learned is to just draw it on while my eyes are open. Um, thank you. I, it took me time. I used to work at Sephora, so I've learned over time, but it's really easy when you get the hang of it with your eyes open. So I'm just going to drag this over and it's, I feel like it's so much easier with liquid when you're using like a pencil, it is a little bit chalkier and it's a little harder to blend it. 
So you guys can see I'm just literally drawing this on the eye. There we go. I think eyeliner is like my favorite thing to do because I've gotten such a hang of it and I've gotten so comfortable with my eye and not being nervous of poking myself in the eye. I think that's also the problem. Sometimes we get nervous of like poking ourselves in the eye or messing up our liner that we wind up blinking and messing it up. So I try to just stay as calm as possible, try not to blink a lot. I know some people have really watery eyes, so I would suggest taking breaks in between, but the liner is on. I'm gonna actually make it a little bit more dramatic. So I'm adding more to the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to make sure this is all seamless. It goes right into the corner. There's a liner there. <laughs> it's not easy at all. I, it's not easy, but I promise when you practice and get the hang of it, it becomes like a walk in the park for me. Um, all right. So I'm going to actually create this dramatic effect I have here in the corner. I'm going to just draw it in with this pen. And what I love about this liquid pen is that the tip is like a felt tip, so it's kind of spongy. So I feel like it controls the amount of liquid that comes out. There's different liquid liners, and there's definitely some that have more of like a brush tip, like a paintbrush tip, and I think those are much harder to use. So that we have that dramatic effect there in the corner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw in some black on my waterline at the bottom. I feel like my eyes are more on the smaller side. So whenever I draw in um, my waterline area, it definitely, I feel like, accentuates my eyes. Um, all right. So now we're gonna draw in the waterline. This is the tricky part. This is the part um, that's a little harder to do on the camera. So I'm actually gonna just look right into the camera and do it without the mirror. And with the waterline, I feel like there's no perfect way to do it. You do it for how it fits your face, your eyes, how you want it. And you can always go ahead. So. I'm using a liner that has a sponge tip on the other end so I can smoke it out. And if I make any mistakes or I put too much, I'll smoke it out and you won't even, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So that's what I'm doing with this sponge tip now. Kind of gives it more of a, a smoky look and I'm really into the smoky look right now. There we go. And I try to bring it up into that wing liner that I have. I'll probably go back over it with the wing liner in the corners. I'm grabbing my wing liner and then I'm just going to angle that so that it goes right into the waterline. There we go. So we have that in there. And I'm gonna add some more glitter um, into the corners of my eye. Again, um, this is, I'm still using the Light Show Color Melt. And this is actually, so, so sorry I didn't tell you guys, this is the color Dream Foam. There it is there, it comes in this little squeeze tube. I'll show you guys how it comes out. I would definitely shake it up before using it because a lot comes out. I still have so much on my hand and it comes out just like that. So a lot goes a long way. This should last you for pretty long because you do not need to use a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna put some of that glitter here in the corner, dab it right into my eye and I'm gonna just use my finger. The 
just put some of that glitter there in the corner and I'm just going to blend it right in. If you can get it before it dries, you can kind of move the glitter around. That wing is still good. If I want it to be a little bit more dramatic and show, I can go over it again like I'm doing right now. All right, and now I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I've been doing with this blush oil. I have been using, let me pull it up on the screen. This is like one of my favorite products right now. This is from um, Youthphoria. It's a blush oil. Where is she? There we go. Okay, I was like, where's my blush oil? All right, so this is the um, Bio Blush Oil from Euphoria. And I have it, it's called Chemical Reaction. So I know it looks super clear. It looks kind of green in here. It looks like there's no color. There definitely is. But as you put it on, you'll see it's like a little pinky. But what I love about this is that I feel like no matter who uses it, when you put it on, it kind of just blends into your skin and it gives you a nice natural blush look. It's not too red, too orangey, too pink. And I actually use this right down my nose area. It gave me that nice glowy look, but it also gave me a flush of color. Um, but I'm actually going to use this as well on my lips and it's going to give me a nice pink blushy look on my lips and you guys will see as I blend it in the color will come in I'm all about using my products for different areas of my face as long as it's safe of course and this oil is definitely um can be used in different areas but I have been using it so much on my cheeks I'm not putting it on my cheeks right now because I already have the red going on but I have it here on the lips and it gives me a nice natural flush of color on my lips nice and it's a nice pretty pink on the lips um of course so here's here it is it's from euphoria again comes in this bottle it definitely looks like a a lip gloss but it's a blush when i'm applying it on my cheeks i kind of just put some right here and i take the brush and I just blend it right in up towards um, this area. Don't get the green thing, so strange. Oh yeah, the color. When I first saw it, I was just like, how is this a blush? It looks super green, I don't get it. But then when I put it on the cheek area, I'm gonna actually put some on my nose. Hopefully it's not too much color, just so you guys see how it looks. So it's clear. It's clear, but then it slowly turns into this nice flush of pink. You can see it there on my nose. You can see the color there on my nose. So on the cheeks, it's, an, it's a pretty uh, natural pink and it gives you a nice glow. You can see the pink is there now on my nose area. Um, it's really great. I'm obsessed with this product. I've been using it uh, for like the past two weeks and I've been talking about it constantly. I love it. Um, so, and I feel like, um, so I am from New York and right now the weather is super cold. My skin gets super dry. So like I said, I, I like to use things that gives me a really nice glow to the skin. And I love that blush oil because if I don't want to use highlighter or anything too heavy, I can just pop that on my natural skin and it just gives me such a nice like vibrant glow to the skin um so definitely suggest it it's on sale as well it was 36 it's 30 dollars right now and you'll also get the extra 15 percent off if you purchase anything during this live video um and you have up until 30 minutes after it ends to um take advantage of that discount so take advantage of the discount um i also have some other glosses from euphoria that i'm really excited to try out um, and this is 3 a.m. And this color is Play With Fire. So this is like a nice mauve natural color. If you can see it here on my hand. Let me put some more color. You can see it here on my hand. It's a nice mauve color. I would actually use this with like a deeper brown liner on the lips. And it'll blend in really nicely. 
And then this one, it has more of a sheen to it. You can see here. But it's also very natural on the lips. It gives you a nice, gives you a nice um, glow. I love the sheen in it. You guys can see the color there. So these are also from Euphoria. Um, these are their lip glosses. And the other product I showed you was their uh, blush oil. So now I am about to end off my look. And I'm going to add some more uh, color to the lips. So... I do have this trio. I'm going to put it here on the screen. Um, before I actually do the glosses, I actually want to talk to you guys about these lashes. Um, I didn't get the chance to apply them on the eye, but I will be applying them on the eye. I'm actually going out later on, and I'm going to put them on. I'm going to show you guys. Let me put it on the screen. This is um, Dora Luxe Eyelashes. This is the brand here. These are the lashes. So I really love these lashes because they have a really like wispy look about them. And as you guys can see, my lashes are just like, they're very light. Um, they're very light, but when you apply mascara, I'll show you guys when I apply the mascara, how much they pop out. Um, so these are the lashes I would apply on top. So I would actually apply these after I apply mascara um, and I would cut it to shape it to my eye, apply the glue, and then I would actually um, use a tool to apply them onto my eye. As I look up, I would apply onto this area in here. And I totally suggest using eyeliner um, when you're using lashes because I feel like it kind of just blends it more in to the eye area. All right, and... Oh, thank you. I used to work at Sephora and then I just kind of really got into makeup. Um, if you guys cannot hear me, please let me know. Um, I know there's a bit of a noise going on. Um, yeah, I learned my I learned some of my things from Sephora. I learned some things from uh, YouTube and some things from just being home and just being interested in makeup. And I kind of just took advantage of the time that I had. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys the mascara that I used. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and use this mascara from We Are Fluid. And it's just a black mascara. But what I love about it is this brush. This brush is absolutely stunning. It's It really gets in there. And if you have um, very light lashes like I do, it definitely helps accentuate your lashes and gives you more of the like, you guys can see the difference here. Um, so this is WP Black for the mascara, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some on my eyelid. Let me just grab a mask so I can see better. I have super light brown lashes, so I feel like they don't really pop out when I have makeup on. I definitely have to use a mascara that elongates them and gives them a little bit more um I want to say depth Let's see. I also love applying mascara to my bottom lashes it's something that I just got comfortable and used to doing before I never used to use mascara on my um, bottom lashes because I thought it was too dramatic but then I started to realize um, I like the dramatic look because my lashes are so light. It definitely makes my um, makes my eyes look a little bigger than what they are. Um, I think choosing makeup is so hard because if you're someone that's really into makeup, you kind of just want to try everything. Um, so what I try to do is I like to create mood boards of looks that I want to create, whether it's on Pinterest, Instagram, I'll create my own little mood board of a, a artsy look that I want to do. I'll look and see what I have and then I'll build from there. And then I will look into, um, I like using brands that use sustainable packaging. I like using plant-based brands, harm-free brands. So I kind of look for those things. So if I was to go on the Vera Shop app right now and look for a foundation or look for a lipstick, I would look for something that is harm-free, cruelty-free, 
plant-based, something that's healthy for my skin. And I also look for things um, for my concerns. So like I told you guys, I have dry skin. So I will look for things that say, you know, natural glow, dewy, those type of keywords I would definitely look for. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how I go about it. Um, just surfing. If I went on Veroshop right now, I probably would be on for hours because there are so many different options on the app for makeup, um, which I love. So you guys should definitely think of keywords and things that you're specifically looking for in your makeup. And I feel like it narrows it down and makes it a little easier. Um, so I'm just going to put some of that mascara here in the bottom. And just a little bit, I don't put too much, but I do put some on there just to kind of make my eyes look a little bigger than what they are. All right. So the eyes are done. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys um, the glosses that I was really excited. I was ready to jump right into the glosses, forgetting the rest of my eye. Um, all right. So... Let's put that up here on the screen. So We Are Fluid, again, um, I've been going back and forth between We Are Fluid and um, Euphoria, and I'm really obsessed with both of their glosses. This is a trio, so I got a set of three. It's only $25 for three amazing lip glosses, and they're all like a natural color. So I know in here they look super um, deep in color, but they are glow more of a like natural look on the lips. So this one is called Abundance. I love that. I'm um, going to show you guys how it looks. See? So it's a gloss. It's super, super sheer when you apply it on. It's really nice to apply on top of like a dark brown or a burgundy lipstick. It, it definitely gives it a nice glossy look to the lips. And this one is more of a like pinky. This is the one that I'm going to apply on top of the blush oil I put on my lips. And this color is called Expansion. This is my word for the year, Expansion. And I've been loving this color. So I'm going to apply that on the lips. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Just want to make sure you guys can hear me. So I'm going to apply the pink. So you guys can see a super sheer. Not too much, but it does give you a, a nice color. Gives you a nice glow to the lips. Very natural. So with the lips, I would try to keep them more natural since I have so much going on on the eye area. I don't want it to be like too much. Um, so I would definitely keep it very natural on the lips. And this is, this is the eye look here. Um, you guys can also use, I have, so I do have a, a a glitter liquid liner um that i would use to kind of make my eyes pop out a little bit more let me see if i can find it so i can show you guys yes i found it so this is also from we are fluid this is a glitter liner you can go ahead and line the eyes so you guys can see i kind of have like an outline there on the eye so if you want you can go ahead and add even more glitter and shape the shadow that's up here. I just really wanted to show you guys these different uh, glitter products because I feel like finding the right um, glitter shadow or glitter liner can be a little tricky. And I kind of just applier right in there. Sorry if I was blocking the camera, guys. So I just apply that liner to just kind of shape the glitter I already have going on. And I just follow the wing liner that I have there. So you can see it right there. So I definitely went over my time, but I've had a good time on uh, live today creating with you guys. So this is my trendy spring look. It's um, something I would definitely wear if I'm going out um, to an event, um, if I'm going to like a super upbeat dinner and I have maybe something very simple on and I want my makeup to pop out, I would definitely pull the hair back so that you can see 
the blush we have going on on the cheeks we see the eyes um i can't wait to apply the lashes the lashes are gonna like tie everything in together um i'm sorry i couldn't apply them for you guys um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this thank you so much thank you um i'm so happy that you guys enjoyed this so i will be on live every tuesday at 10 a.m pacific time 1 p.m eastern time i'm here next week um i'm gonna be going through some really cool um outfits with you guys and i'm definitely gonna have my makeup done so if you guys have any questions during that live about makeup feel free to ask away um and again please take advantage of the 15 percent off um if you purchase anything from this live you have up until 30 minutes after um to take advantage on top of the things that's already on sale everything that i use is pretty much on sale so you guys are gonna get a bang for your buck um if you purchase any of the products that i did show so yay i hope you love the oil i have the blush oil i've been using it like i said almost every single day i kind of replaced my highlighter with that um so i do hope that you love it and yeah i hope you guys have a great tuesday i will see you guys next week thank you so much for joining um and have a great day